Hi, this is Richard Byrne, and in this video we're going to take a look at geteach.com, which is a great tool that allows you to view maps and compare maps side by side. This was a tool developed by a teacher for his students and is now available to anyone who wants to use it. So let's start over here on the left hand side and look at our first map and select a map layer. And you can see we have a bunch of options to pick from here. We go physical geography, human geography. Uh, let's take a look and say we want to look at demographics. So we'll use a demographics map. And we can look at population in millions. Okay. Pretty neat. Now over here on the left on the right hand side, let's select a map again and let's compare it to population density. And so now my students can kind of get a sense of, all right, well, we know that China has over a billion people, but where are they in China? Well, we can see that they're over here, uh, kind of to the eastern side of China, and not so much out here in the western part of China. Uh, likewise, you know, we know there's over 300 million people in the United States, but where are they for the most part? Well, our highest population densities are northeast and over here on the west coast. So that's a neat little feature of this tool. Now, one of the other things we can do is down here at the bottom, you can see I can turn on the drawing tools. And I can draw lines across the map. Now, of course, if I zoomed in, this tool would be much more accurate. And the neat thing here is you can see it's snapping to a flight route. Let's take a look at some of the other tools we can use. Look at that, we can add a place marker. So this little place mark tool lets me add in a place mark and I'll put it right on Saudi Arabia. Okay. Add another one. Continue to click and add place marks around the map. Okay. If I need to go back and readjust the map, I'll just click the little hand icon and we can move it around. You notice I have these maps synchronized. Okay. Now if I want to measure places, I can see distance here for my line. Okay. So remember earlier I drew that line. Let's do a quick boom, boom. And we can see my new distance. Okay. And you can see where I'm going. Now if I draw on a, a square, I could have calculated the area for that as well. Okay. So I have my maps synchronized and anytime I move one map, the other map is going to move with it. Now I can certainly go over here on the right hand side and I can do a comparison drawing if I wanted to. I can draw, I can dip, add different place marks so we can compare different places around the world on both maps. Okay. Let's take a look at some of our other settings here. Currently we're in a split screen. Okay. I can bring those tools back up if I want to. Okay. Over here on my map controls I can say that currently I turn them on or turn them off. Synchronize maps, I can turn that off so I can move the maps independently if I want to. Synchronize zoom, again, will allow me to uh, decide if I want to move the maps in tandem or not. My legends, boundaries, road layers, and drawing tools, I can turn them all on or off. And I can turn on elevation tools or turn them off as well. So those are some of the things you can do in GE Teach. Again, it's a great tool for comparing map layers and doing some simple drawings and measurements around the world. And for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.